All right, today we are going to play the games that I downloaded. These are the games I bought from the Japanese server. You had Kohime Muzu. This was uh, like under five dollars, so it was great. The two PlayStation 2 Japanese games. We're just going to test out one for this video. We're going to test out Sonic Heroes. It, this is Japanese, as you can see. And then we have uh, Rival Schools, The Adventures of Little Ralph, and Rival Schools 2. We'll probably also just test one of these games. We'll probably test out uh, Rival Schools because obviously that game is freaking legit. So yes, we are going to be testing out these three games because I said in the video that we're going to be testing out three, three, how you call it, uh, games, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 Japanese games. <clears throat> Before I even begin, I do have to mention that every U.S. console should be able to play all these games. The only difference is you cannot play physical media. That means if you have a Japanese PS1 game physical or you have a physical Japanese PS2 game even if you have a backwards compatible US PS3 you cannot play you cannot play those games even if you pop into discs I've made that in a preview of one of my videos that you cannot play any of those uh, games physical based but you could still play them through the PlayStation store so that's one good thing to pretty much have. At least you have something than nothing, you know? It's better to have some sort of compatibility than no compatibility at all. So we're going to start out with the PlayStation 1 game for sure. And that is Rival Schools. So let's begin. Oh yeah, that cl classic PlayStation. Freaking boot up. I'm so excited. We're going to have to watch the intro, man, because the intro is legit freaking mm, so good. Am I recording? Okay, <laughs> I had to say that because my computer becomes all wonky. Nah, it's, it's working. Man, I know the stories of these characters. Actually, just the main character, but uh, it's so interesting, though. Classic man, this is a a hood classic, my boy. Freaking amazing! Oh man, classic. I remember the I remember playing with every character, seeing the freaking their supers and stuff. Those are the good days. Obviously, uh, it would have been <laughs> would have been better. If this game was in English, so I could uh, read some of the stuff, but uh, hey, whatever. It's still good to have, so you, when you have people over, you can have versus battles. So that's one thing to make sure. Oh, so we're doing like training mode? I see. Ah, that's, that's not... Anyways, we're pretty much done anyway, so it's all good. But this game is a hood classic, my boy. All right, here we go with Sonic Heroes. Hopefully I pick Sonic Heroes. It'd be funny if I pick the other one. No, it's right here. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, classic, classic. Do you want, do I want to create? Of course I do. Oh yeah, I keep, I keep pressing the X, it's circle. Circle to confirm things on, on Japanese PlayStation games. So we're creating some data. I want to see something real quick 
if the interface is still uh, English. Apparently it's still... Uh, I'm trying to figure out the settings, language settings. Awesome! So you could play it in English. That's freaking legit, man. I have this game on PS3 and I'm able to I'm able to play this on English. That's freaking awesome. What? You can hear the English voices. This is the Japanese game though. Oh man. Let's let's look at the cussing. Oh man, this is so great. <laughs> oh man, you guys don't even understand. The fact that I'm able to play Sonic Heroes on freaking PS3, that's just awesome. That is just freaking awesome. So I have all the Sonic games on the on the PlayStation freaking 3. That's freaking awesome. All right, so that was PS2 Japanese game. Keep in mind, it was the Japanese version. In the PlayStation Store, I wish we could just we we could just literally just buy Japanese games easily without having to uh, use like a third party to get the cards. Because you have to buy from a from a third party to pretty much get those PlayStation cards, and it kind of sucks. Not not that it sucks that we have to get the cards that way, but we have to pay a little bit of extra. It's not that much. Sometimes it's like five dollars. Sometimes it's like ten dollars. But still, it adds up if you buy a lot of games so that was ps2 now let's go to ps3 so once again my computer decided hey you should not record so uh my commentary was uh, actually disrupted so i was recording this video and my commentary was not recorded i don't know how this computer does it but it manages to pretty much f me over all the time okay so this is Kohima Mushu, and we're going to pretty much play it, and I did play it, so it's kind of hard to do a reaction when I already recently played it. So this is pretty much like a waifu fighter game. I think this game, if I remember correctly, this series is actually a light novel series, and then they made like two fighting games or something. There's actually two fighting games on the PS3. This one was actually, I think, reported or remastered on the PlayStation 4. And it's actually, I think in the U.S., I think it's it's worldwide now. It's not just exclusive to Japan. Not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. This game is actually by far a very good game. I did not expect how good it was because the game just uh, was really cheap. It was probably the cheapest game that I found on the PlayStation Store and the Japanese PSN Store because most games were like, a thousand yen but this one was like 584 yen that's like really cheap so i bought it and i'm not disappointed and i played the heck out of it okay let's not let's not exaggerate the to the to the viewers i played like freaking for a little bit and i enjoyed it i am very surprised that this game is not popular because the graphics are great for the for the time uh, it's a waifu simulator if you're into like, you know, different various waifus. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, enough about that. The game takes a while to load though, but as soon as you see the gameplay, you'll, you'll, it'll remind you like Guilty Gear and stuff, so it's not bad. Okay, so, I already demonstrated, but I do want to do a recap before I end the video. I do gotta mention. When it comes to physical games, the PlayStation 3 is region free for all PS3 games if you're playing on PAL Japan it's region free PS1 and PS2 games are not region free physically but if you want to play Japanese PAL games and US games uh, region free you could do it with the digital games the digital games are region free so it doesn't matter if you buy from Japan doesn't matter if you if you buy on the UK doesn't matter if you buy on the US it's region free so you could play any game you ever wanted to play or, like I said before in a previous video, 
Uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe is not on sale in the US store digitally, but it is available on the UK. And keep in mind, UK is the PS3 games are, are 60 hertz. But before you go, I do have to mention, I know this is about Japan games, the Jap Japanese games I bought on the PSN store. Please do keep in mind, I made a video. Do not buy UK games if you're from the US or Japan because they run at 50 hertz. The classics, PS1 and PS2 classics. Other than that, the UK, the PAL region, uh, PS3 games run at full 60 hertz. So that's one thing to take in consideration. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. I upload a bunch of PS3 content because, you know, I'm all about that PS3 at the moment. Until then, I'll see you guys. And thanks for watching.